We are getting a new perspective tonight after a man said he was wrongfully detained by Duluth police. So extraordinarily sorry. That is. No, it's fine. It happens. Okay. We're all human. The young man was handcuffed and had a gun pointed at him because police were given incorrect information that the young man was trying to steal a car. Police have released body camera video now saying the officers did everything by the book. Our John Shirek live with the video for us tonight. We are all all too familiar with how quickly traffic stops can become fatal, particularly when white officers have stopped black drivers. So body cam video can be crucial evidence. But what the driver in this non-fatal case remembers differs in some key points to what the body cam video just released shows. Late Wednesday night, Duluth police on the way to try to catch possible car thieves in the act. A 911 caller had said he was watching a Hispanic man, a white woman, and a black man possibly trying to break into this pickup truck and steal it. The truck parked in a neighbor's driveway. I mean, he definitely ain't black. And the caller said the potential thieves were all in a black Volkswagen wagon, which is what the white officers saw accelerating toward them when they arrived, a black man behind Stop, the wheel. Man. Stop! Driver, get out of the car! One of the officers points a gun at the driver. The driver complies with all commands. The officer handcuffs him. The reason why we're here is when one of the neighbors called, it looks like somebody was trying to break in the truck. Okay. And they said it was a, they were driving a Volkswagen. Uh, that's his truck. <laughs> okay, that's his truck. So, like, there's nothing going did he on. By now, the other officer is at the truck talking to the truck's owner and confirms no one was trying to steal it. Later, the driver who'd been stopped, 19-year-old Fuseni Sissoko, was saying he never understood why police stopped him and that they never apologized. I really didn't understand what was going on until I see them lower their guns. I was like, wow, that was, that was pointed at me. That's a, it's a scary moment. They didn't say sorry for wasting your time, sorry for pointing a gun in your face. They didn't say anything like that. Duluth police protocol authorizes officers to use investigative detention of a possible suspect to investigate their involvement in criminal activity, to quickly confirm or dispel the officer's suspicions limited to a brief span of time. Officers let Sissoko go two minutes after handcuffing him, apologizing to him repeatedly. Sissoko saying, I don't blame you. Okay, all right, you got any other questions for us? Uh, no. Okay, so extraordinarily sorry. That is. No, it's fine. It happens. Okay. We're all human. The brother of the pickup truck's owner watched the body cam video posted on the Duluth Police Department Facebook page and commented that police overreacted and rushed to judgment based on a 911 caller's mistake. Quote, if this is truly the protocol for Duluth police, the community members are alarmed and as community members, we deserve to be heard. Police insist they must investigate every 911 call and that the body cam shows they did this one by the book. We are working to try to reach the driver who was detained as well as the owner of the pickup truck. They are friends to get their comments about all of this. Duluth police continue to urge people when they see something suspicious to call 911 and police will take it from there. Jen. All right, John, thank you so much. We appreciate that update. Thank you.